Ladies and gentlemen, Taylor McKnight here for Great Championship Wrestling with an exclusive interview with Drew Golden. Drew, for the past seven days, has been the been the subject of controversy throughout the entire wrestling community. Of course, last week, the Southside Trash leaving Primetime Pro Wrestling and in the same night, showing up in Great Championship Wrestling. Drew, I want to thank you very much for joining us here today. I know you have not spoken with anybody, and we are privileged to have you with us right now. Thank you, thank you. It's good to be here. Now, Drew, i got to ask you, and I hope you don't mind, but this is uh, it's going to be a hard-hitting interview. I need to know, was this premeditated? Was this something that has been in the works for some months? Uh, absolutely not. Uh, we have been in talks with GCW and, and its booking committee, but there had been no agreement made between the Southside Trash and the booking team at GCW. Uh, so it was, no, it was not premeditated. Okay, well, when did this happen? When did all this come about? And when were, when was it finally decided that you would join Great Championship Wrestling? I, I guess you could I honestly say that the, the straw, the final straw for us, um, on that Thursday, the 30th of October, right. I was uh, at my at my day job. We just shoot straight. We're gonna we're gonna cut a shoot here. Great. I was at my day job. Billy Roper comes to my day job, and and myself and Randy, which is Rowdy of the Southside Trash, were the bookers for Primetime Pro Wrestling and had been since it, its inception. Um, Billy Roper came to my day job and released me from the book. Um, he said it was something that he needed to do, that he needed to have the book himself, that if anything happened, he wanted the blame to be on him. Now, did he give any other reason, or was that just the sole reason that he gave when he let you go from the book? Absolutely not. Um, J.P. Money, which is Paul Warren, right. was sitting with me when he done this. So he actually fired me in front of somebody, which is un unprofessional in itself. I mean, it's not how you handle business. In, in any arena, not just wrestling. He uh, wanted to release me from the book. It was something he needed to do, and he didn't want any blame if something bad happened to come back on me as if he was trying to protect me. Uh, Billy Roper and I had became just very, very good friends, uh, almost like best friends. And, and it may have been a, a mistake on my part to actually become emotionally attached to my promoter and, and have a friendship develop there. Right. But I trusted him. <clears throat> Billy had not got out of the parking lot, had not got out of sight good. And I get a phone call from another wrestler, and he's like, what's going on down there? And I'm not going to call any names on that, you know. But I'm like, what are you talking about? And he's like, with the book. And I was, you know, I was thinking to myself, you know, uh, this kind of news is traveling very fast. Yeah. And I'm like, well, you know, Billy came in and, and, and took the book. And he's like, no, 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 no. Somebody else is the booker. And I'm like, that that fast? Said, yeah, yeah, we, we've been knowing about it for hours. Right. Well, you know, that was a slap in my face. I mean, if, if not just a book a promoter to a booker, but from a friend to a friend, it was a slap in my face. Right. It was a lack of trust. It was a lie. That was the straw that broke the camel's back for the relationship between the Southside Trash and Billy Roper. There were a lot of things that led up to this. So at this point now, of course, you've been let go from the book, and you and Randy Harris, along with J.P. Money, decide that you're going to leave Primetime Pro, yeah. and you're going to jump on board with Great Championship Wrestling. Absolutely. Now, most companies, you know, most, most times you see a wrestler, they leave one promotion, they show up the next time, you know, but a situation developed where where Primetime Pro was head-to-head -head with Great Championship Wrestling the same night right up the street, and you two took it upon yourselves to go to Primetime Pro as originally scheduled and uh, shoot what has become a very controversial video on the Internet in which you, Randy Harris, and J.P. Money called Billy Roper on the phone and let them know, let him know that uh, you were going to Great Championship Wrestling. Of course, we played that video for you live in the arena, and then moments later... Here come the Southside Trash to a tremendous ovation. I would say, quite frankly, that it uh, that moment stole the show. Now, here's the question. A lot of people now have been attacking you. They have been saying that uh, not just Drew Golden, the man, not just Randy Harris, not just a wrestling gimmick. They're saying that you personally, your faith should be questioned because you left one wrestling company to go for another. Now, how do you respond when somebody not just attacks who you are, 
but they actually attack your faith and they attack something that's very personal and has nothing to do with professional wrestling. You know, I've had a more than more than just one person, uh, you know, ask me as a Christian, how could I do something like this that a Christian person would not do this? Right. You know, that a minister himself could not do something this devious and evil. And, and and the thing is, is we don't see it as devious and evil. We took something that happened in real life and we let the art, the professional wrestling, and, and what had happened in real life, we let these things kind of intertwine. Uh, what a lot of people don't realize is this is a show. This is entertainment. This is what people pay and come to see. And we thought, well, we'll make a, a huge dramatic exit and in turn make a huge dramatic entrance. We didn't do it to intentionally cause anybody any harm, but there was a lot of things that had built up between uh, Billy Roper and myself and, and, and Randy Harris, and I mean, there, there was some tension there. Um, we figured we would take the opportunity to, to as entertainers, right. entertain. The opportunity arose and we jumped on it. And if people find it offensive, I'm very, very sorry, but we didn't do it to offend anybody. We done it to entertain the fans, and by the reaction that we got from the arena that night, I feel like the fans were entertained. I mean, that was the general consensus, really, that uh, the Southside Trash had showed up to Great Championship Wrestling it was a big surprise. Uh, of course, that's what this business is all about. It's about surprises. It's about the unpredictability and the nature of the beast. And uh, while some people you know, they can attack you all they want and say, well, you should have stayed with prime time. You shouldn't have gone here. You shouldn't do this. But it's just, in my personal view, it's that if you're going to attack somebody's profession, then attack the profession. Don't attack the person behind it. Obviously, your faith, uh, you know, your family yeah. has nothing to do with what you do inside the ring. As you said before, we are all in this business to entertain. And I believe now, uh, as we move along, that great championship wrestling and the Southside Trash are going to have a very entertaining uh, roller coaster ride. There's a lot of tag teams in this division that you've never faced. Guys like Absolutely. Orion Bishop and Murder One, the GCW Tag Team Champions. Yes. We've got John Bogey and Kareem Abdul-Jamar. Good tag team. There's a lot of tag teams, and I believe that Southside Trash are going to come in and really complement their styles. And I think what we're going to see over the next few months is a lot of entertaining wrestling, which I guess is more than we can say for what uh, the employer that you just left. Uh, and with that being said, uh, I, I know what you're alluding to, and, and, and yes, we were stifled at times. Uh, we were held back at times, but talking with the booking committee at GCW, um, we're, we've pretty much, you know, got open reins on this. Are you happy? Are you happy this morning? We're, we're very happy. Uh, we have been treated very professionally. We have been treated kindly by everybody. We have been welcomed with open arms by GCW, uh, and and I'll be honest with you, and and I'm not blowing smoke. Anybody that knows Randy or myself knows we don't do this. GCW was not anything like what we had expected or what's been talked about about GCW. Uh, the people misuse uh, Quentin Michaels. These people are not what what we've been told they were. Uh, we were we were very surprised. We were pleasantly surprised at how professional and how cordial these people welcomed us in and how they've treated us since all of this and, and the support we've got from these people from this. Well, that's absolutely true. You know, Diane Hughes and Quentin Michaels, both coffee drinkers, no tea pops, absolutely tremendous professionals that I, myself, you know, I heard the same rumors that you did when I absolutely. first came in. Don't go there. They're so... You know, it's a wonderful family environment, and I would just like to say on behalf of Great Championship Wrestling, all the fans out there, and of course the fans that you have brought along with you, the Southside Trash fans, uh, welcome to Great Championship Wrestling, and for better or worse, we are looking forward to one hell of a ride. Thank you very much. Thank you, Drew.